Okay, ceiling update. So I had a load of this while in the loft. And I thought, oh, let's just try and put it on as an underneath base to then have the white on the top with the fairy lines in, the, in, the, in between. However, you can really blatantly see the insulation through it. So that plan is not going to work. Now, for some unknown reason, we saved the yurt canvas from the green yurt when it ripped. And I kept it in the carport and I thought, well, maybe some, at some point I'll be able to use it. So what we're doing now is cutting up the right size of the white side of the canvas so that hopefully we can then stick that underneath. So I'm gonna probably wedge it underneath here, then paint this woodwork white, put the fairy lights up, and then get the white wall over the top. Okay, so we've managed to fit all those pieces of canvas that we cut up from the yurt, cam the old canvas from the yurt, into the ceiling. You've kind of got to trust me on it because obviously they're quite stained from having been in the carport for quite a long time. We've bleached it as best we can, but you can still see the stains. But hopefully you won't really see it because there's going to be fairy lights going up and down and we'll put some roses behind it as well to cover up the stains, I think. Um, so I'm really hoping this works, but it, I think it would be better than seeing the insulation through. So. What I'm going to do now is paint all the woodwork white, possibly paint some of the stains while I'm at it and see if that helps. Um, and then that will be a good background for everything to go on top of. ceiling has now had its whitewash. I'm not being too obsessed with how white it looks because it's all going to get covered up with material anyway but I just wanted it to have a vague white look about it um, and so now it's time to put the fairy lights up and down underneath and see if I've got enough to do the whole roof. So I've got all the fairy lights up. I definitely had enough. I bought 100 meters so I went up and down, up and down, and up and down, and then I had so much, I had to go across the tension wires and then round and round the skylight. So let's have the big switch on Annabelle. Ooh, twinkly. Okay, now let's see if we can get it onto, yeah, put it onto fully on. That's it, look at that. We're back at the Hobbit door wall. And I was wondering whether I could have a go at drawing some branches and then popping some flowers on like blossom. So I'm gonna see if I can do it, but I'm no artist, so um, it might all be rubbish and then we might end up putting real twigs to cover it all up. So we'll have a go and see what happens. I watched a YouTube tutorial. They sort of did little bits, didn't they? Dep back down and then is this right? We'll just see, and then we'll kind of get a bit thicker. So, I don't know if you can see, but I've drawn with bent pencil some branches going all the way up to the door, and so I'm now going to fill them in with acrylic paint and see what it looks like. So this is the result of the me kind of having to go at hand painting branches um, and we've found all these little tiny blossomy flowers so we're just sticking those on now and um, I think I quite like the effect. 
So I was hoping it would all be completely finished in here for Annabelle to have her little birthday tea party on Friday. Um, but we still need to get the window finished and the material on the ceiling and there's quite a few little finishing touches still to do. Um, Annabelle's written her birthday menu that she would like to have on her birthday little tea party. Um, and I'm hoping that's what this wall is going to be. It's going to be a decorate your own wall for your particular event and um, I can clean it in between. But it's so nearly done. Um, so now Annabelle and I are going to go off and make her birthday cake. Today we're making my birthday cake. So we've made two chocolate cakes. I've chopped the tops off and I've made chocolate buttercream. Annabelle, help me. Pile it on. Annabelle, what kind of cake do you want? Chocolate sweetie cake. Chocolate sweetie. Overload cake. Overload cake. I'll spread this out. Nice thick icing. Pop it on the top. So you get a flat top. Look at that whopper of a cake. Let's try and get it. Can you help spread the top on? Yeah. Oh, I just got chocolate on the camera. Whoops. That's it. So. Unless I wash it. So we let our cake cool in the fridge for a bit and I've got some white chocolate panache. We're just gonna get poured over the top and we're gonna try one-handed to go for some drips down the side. Now we're just going to pile this cake with sweets. Okay, and last but not least. Ta-da! Bit over the top, but you only seven months. So this is our first official event in the hut. It's Annabelle's seventh birthday. So we made some scones, Annabelle's favourite Yorkshire puddings, some sandwiches, and then we're gonna have the cake. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Annabelle. Happy birthday to 